and to talk a little bit more about what those ideas have been, and whether any of them have, have been any good, RT got the chance to talk to Mr. Burrell, who's known for his work with the Arctic, specifically for chairing the International Arctic Science Committee. Thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure. I'm delighted. So far from what you've seen and heard here in, in the conference today, do you think that there have been any valid ideas or suggestions posed already? Yeah, I think the most important thing about this is that the idea of a dialogue, which has been tabled now by Russia for almost a year, the idea was, of course, put together for a meeting that was to be in the spring, but the word dialogue is in it the idea that we work together, we figure common solutions. And we've just also finished a big study and published the results on governance. And what we're saying in that study, first, use existing agreements like the, the UNCLOS, the Law of the Sea. Because in there are ways in which we already, as nations, have agreed. We signed it and ratified it. So out to 200 miles, we have certain things. If we go beyond that, there are rules and regulation of how you do that. Then the International Maritime Organization has about rights of access and how you operate ships in these regions. So there's really good infrastructure but it's not been exploited, and it ought to be. So that's one of the things that has to be done. The other is strengthening the Arctic Council to be the policy-shaping body. But it has restricted itself to certain things, but it hasn't done oil and gas. It, it did an assessment about ecological aspects, but the issue of exploration has not been dealt with. Even what I would call security, and that's human security, economic security, national security, those are all things that need to be talked out. And the Arctic Council is a really unique enterprise because it's got governments at the level of ministers of foreign affairs who certainly have the right and prerogative of representing their nation. It's got the presidents of the six indigenous peoples organizations. Then it has a whole bunch of, of what we call official observers, some of which are other countries like Germany and UK. So there's a place to talk this all out. I consider the establishment of this as a real big signal from Russia that says we're prepared to take the next step of the conversation. What I've heard so far in this morning session completely convinces me that's what's up. Fantastic. Well, some skeptics already say it's walking on thin ice trying to decide the future of the Arctic. The people that we've spoken to here, yourself included, are very optimistic. So hopefully this will just be the start of a very good thing. So, Tessa, it's a complicated issue, of course, the future of the North but the people here in Moscow do seem very positive they can come to a mutually beneficial